Hi guys, you guys loved my video that I did with Hayden, which I'll link up here, which was about Instagram poses or male portrait poses and that sort of stuff. So I thought I'd do another one. This time with someone who's a different body shape um, and we're gonna go with that. And we're here we're back again at the Northampton Graffiti Walls, which were actually done as part of the Wall Games 2020. So if you are in Northampton, go check them out. You'll find them just here. They're brilliant. All the way down there. So there you go. Right, I'm just going to talk to you about Bart, how he stood. So right now he's got his hands in his pocket. First of all, we can get him to get his hands out of his pockets. Right, and now we want to put some dimension in, right? So if we get lower down... Right, Bart, can you, um, as if you're walking back and forward... That's it. Right, first of all, we get this better look. Go back again. And get him to do some movement. With his hands, because they're quite static, obviously he's got uh, a stance that is quite broad. So what you can do is get him to, as if he's with his watch, or sometimes you give them something to hold. Another tip is, if you're going to get the model to look at you, they're going to look straight down the barrel of the camera. They actually need to look down the lens of the camera. So if you look at the lens of this camera, please. There you go, they make connection with the viewer. You can see it here, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the problem is, if I move that way, the whites of his eyes, don't move your head the whites of his eyes have become really apparent and it looks a little bit constrained. So all you have to do is move his head slightly or get him to look, that's it, follow it around. And that's more a pleasing image. Another tip is to always look for the light. So we're in a dark car park here and you see the light is just coming down from the grates above, which does mean that Mark is hidden. So he needs to lift his head up a bit more towards the light. If you lift your head up towards the light and turn it slightly, you can try and bounce light or you get a reflector in. But no, his hands are great colour, so we might do some portraits on his hands here. So yeah, look for the light and get some interesting backgrounds. So you want to look for frames and interesting textures. So there's things like this wall. Go past this. Suit. Here are dog doorways. Even if you haven't got anywhere, having nothing to photograph against. Look for garage doors. Like this wall's great. I love this, apart from the uh, profanity on it. You can only shut that out. But even just shutters like this. You'll see loads that I've shot with Hayden actually. So have a look at those. So you can always find alleyways wherever anyone lives, be it down the side of your houses or between shops. And here, if I pull the way back, you can see that the model is in a frame, as in the walls, this side and this side, and the lines are all leading towards him, which makes him stand out. Now, obviously, I would like a different colour outfit on him, but as it stands, this is what we're going to do, and I can decrease the orange later on in Photoshop. So now, you can also notice if I crouch down a little bit lower, the white of the building there, just there, makes his head stand out a little bit more. Okay, don't forget to add movement to your poses, get the get the model to move around. Um, if it feels weird, it's probably a good image <laughs> um, because remember you're shooting 3D uh, imagery, basically human body and putting it on a curved lens and then you're putting it on a, if you like flattening it out. So some movement is always really good. Also, it's quite diverse. Uh, just make sure, unlike we did, make sure their pockets are empty because it can make for weird shapes on their legs. As ever, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell button. I'll see you all soon.